What's up, YouTube? I usually play uh, retro games on my little monitor in my office, but I have a 75-inch TV that I usually watch movies on, and I was like, you know what? This is a cool little pie image I got here. Let's go ahead and throw it up on the big screen. You're actually looking through a camera right now. Um, that it just It's an amazing gaming experience to go from 27 inches to 75 inches. Trust me, size does matter. So with all that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's play some games from PlayStation, some PSP, some arcade, um, and then some Nintendo as well, and just show you that the experience is simply amazing. It's a little dark in here, but um, I have a bunch of controllers, but I brought my Raspberry Pi 4 near my TV, and it's running the 512 gigabyte image, so let's go ahead and power that on. We got the red light there, and this is a 75 inch Vizio. I'm gonna shut the blinds so we can really see it, but just wanna show you what's actually on the TV, so you believe me, but um, I usually game on this little laptop, and now, we're gonna check out this image, the V-Man 512 image on a big screen TV. So, go ahead and set up a tripod for this. And here's the image. We're on the Terminator theme right now. And uh, let's start with PSP games because those come in full screen. They're a lot of fun. I like the new OutRun game. So let's go over to O and hit up OutRun 2006. Now, um, you know, I'm using a 4K Vizio. This is the P series, 75 inch. Love this TV, by the way. Highly, highly recommend. And um, what we're gonna do is play some games. And right now, just so you know, it's on 2X. Let's try 3X. I played it on 2x, it ran just fine. Oh, it looks good. This Ferrari sounds so good. What is that, a V12? Let's thread the needle here. See that? Oh. oh, another Ferrari. Oh, the rival's playing dirty. Got him. We, did we beat him? Nice. They were in the Bay Area now. Going over to Marin County. Where's my nitrous? Oh yeah, hitting the coast. Are we gonna hit Lombard Street? This is weird, like, they made us go the opposite way of the bridge and now we're in San Francisco. That doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Let's drift it out, yeah. Okay, so we got a good feeling there. Okay, so we played some PSP. Let's just play some straight up like Super Nintendo. Something really a little more retro than that. So Arrow Fighters, great little game. This is the Super Nintendo version, but it's basically a port and a great, great, cool little game. I think I've actually beat, beat it before on this video. But um, what I want to show you here was all your classic systems can run great on here as well. It doesn't have to be a newer system. Nice.
Neo Geo, a system that um, it's nice to not have to own. We have the blood enabled on this one, nice. Thank you. You're welcome. I think there's a helicopter here. Oh. So that's working good. The classic. Faster to do that, by the way. Dun 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 dun
That's how it's done. <laughs> All right, so PlayStation playing just fine. And uh, something really cool is you have this big fat arcade set, so you get to play these big arcade games that, you know, to be fair, could be really cool on an arcade cabinet. Um, or you can just play them here. Yeah, here we go. Uh, Marvel Super Heroes Marvel vs. Capcom. Great game. I believe we also have this for Dreamcast on this image. You can play that. Um, actually, I think it's Naomi has it too. Let's do the Naomi version. It's even better. Little bit of sound lag, but I can tell you right now it's gonna run just fine. One party is gonna win easy. There you go. Ooh. Should block that. Jesus. Oh shoot, you didn't win now. Alright, here we go, right? Alright, so there you have it. Just a quick down and dirty video showing you um, just some of the games. But this is a Raspberry Pi 4 on a 75 inch HD TV P series. Um, a fairly new release TV running really great and you know, finally, you know, this is amazing. I would definitely, if I had a party or, or just to keep near my HDTV, 
this is definitely a contender. I usually don't do this with my TVs. I usually use like a Nvidia Shield or something like that, but the Pi 4 is pretty darn cool here. So um, kudos.